During our trips together, we had often talked about doing a trip into the Swedish mountains, far from any roads or buildings, so in early 2013 we agreed on a mountain river we had heard a lot about the previous years. This river originates deep in the mountains, its upper stretches unavailable to anyone who isn't willing to walk for days or fly in. After talking to Arctic Haley, a local helicopter business, we decided to have us flown in. Three German brothers were going north for the perfect trip in Europe's last wilderness. Before leaving, we decided to talk to one of Jan's Swedish friends, who has been a rafting guide for more than 20 years and knows the area quite well. You know, I think you can just actually tell us if you have like favorite fishing spots like here in the upper part, because we actually had the plan to stay like at least two nights until the, the, the waterfall is here, right? Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's pretty obvious where, mm. it's, where the fishing is called. You see it quite clearly. Yeah, it's normally wet because it's getting narrow and widens yeah. up again or whatever, so yeah. yeah. I can just make up a mind. Yeah, it's quite nice as well. Well, and then this. The, the real the the actually here, that's yeah. what you marked here. Right? That's only the really dry place there. Mm. Otherwise, you can find spots for the tents yeah, yeah, on yeah, these sides here as well. Yeah. Well, fishing is good as well. It's quite a deep, like a deep canal going down before the rapids actually start. But wait a bit from the sides, can you wade in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you can. Mm. And I mean, if, if if you see them starting to rise, you can also go out just in the middle of the lake. You have a good. Yeah, you have good. Mm. You can move yourself around. Having all the information needed, we were more than excited for the following days. Boats were prepared, flies were tied and bags packed. Arriving at the river, it was clear that this was one of the biggest rivers we had ever fished. So we inflated our boats and started paddling. Although it was midday, we didn't want to pass all the good spots, so we stopped to fish rather unsuccessfully before even making camp. Okay, 
Even the words, what would you say On this one line Given the gold, what would you spend On this one fire Before we sleep, what will we dream In the sunlight If I should go before you wake, would you dream mine? You never know, you never know what you got till it goes. You never know, you never know What you got till it goes I'm sorry my darling I can't stay On this main line I'm sorry my darling I must go But you'll always be Although we had planned in more than enough time, we still had quite a lot of paddling in front of us. Also, exploring new waters made us feel like true pioneers, looking for a place to settle down. Let's cook up some trout the lepish way. Then, to keep the stomach open and to keep it a little juicier during the cooking process and the fire, I used to put some like birch branches into it. And onto the fire it goes. Thank you. 
the third day, we noticed a change in Jan's mood. Suddenly, all he wanted to do was stay in camp and read or sleep. It was a mystery to us, since after all, this was the perfect trip we had been waiting for for years. But then I saw it too. Winter was coming. The short Nordic summer was coming to an end, and the trees were telling the story. This meant but one thing, we had to spend even more time fishing, so we did. Contrary to common belief, a trip like this does not leave you satisfied, but yearning for more. I looked back up the river, thinking about a trip of a lifetime, with people I have known my whole life, whose every quality and flaw I cherish, and I couldn't think of anyone else I would rather have done this with than my brothers on the fly. <laughs> <laughs> 